Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to a 3 in 1 challenge video. Uh, just set in the Holiday Hoarders special Christmas pack. This is going to be the Ho 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 challenge, the Santa's Little Helper challenge, and the Old oh Deer challenge. So, these are the items we're going to do for all this particular run. And we're going to do all three of them in the same run, so there's not going to, not going to be any restarts or anything like that. So, we're going to start undercover in the kitchen, already disguised as a waiter, and we're going to bring our lockpick along with us. So from the start, skip the panning opening shot and then go over here to the left and there's going to be an apricot on the counter. So you just want to pick up that, that's the first item we're going to need. Once you come around to this section here, you'll see a security guard coming into the room. Pick up the coconut that's on the side there and the security guard uh, always it stops and then turns around and goes back into where the security room is. So while you've got the coconut in hand, just smack him in the back of the head once he wants to come around this area, and then drag his body, uh, body and put it in the nearby crate, and then take his disguise. So now we've got two items, we need to get ten more. So uh, what you need to do first of all, what I did on this bit, I ran around here and grabbed the palace master key, but uh, the palace master key didn't work for what I was about to do later on. So you can just ignore that. That's the reason why I asked you to bring the lockpick. So you don't need to worry about that anyway. So we're going to head our way up the stairs now and go and grab the third item. It's going to be where all the sabers are. So if you just come up the stairs and then go through this area here. The trick is as well to do this quite fast as well. So you want to pick up the cannonball. That's the third item. So if you turn around, go through the uh, double doors, and go through the opposite double doors as well. The fourth item is just going to be in this room, and it's going to be the little mini tank that's here. So that's four items down. So once you come through the double doors and you go through to the main party area in the where the bar is, you'll see an ice sculpture, and there'll be a, a battle axe buried inside that. So you, once you grab that, that'll be the fifth item ticked off the list. Then make your way to the back area, and uh, just around here the, on the clothes rack and there's going to be a, like a shuriken just on the clothes rack so that'll be the sixth item and then you want to head up the stairs then once you go up the top of the stairs you want to turn left to where the uh, the remote trigger is for the fireworks display that's going to be uh, number number seven yeah item number seven you almost got confused there but once you grab that head back into this area where the auction staff member is and just in the corner by the Christmas tree is going to be a circumcision knife. Grab that and there will be item number 8. So we've got 4 more items and all 4 of them items are going to be in the attic. So from this point you've got plenty of time to uh, go around. But first of all, once you come through this door here and into the section, Santa is going to be in here. And this is, this is where we're going to take another, another challenge down. So grab that baton that's on the table, pull out the baton from your inventory and then just knock him out. Make sure you grab his um, crowbar as well. He drops a crowbar on the floor. Just grab that, and then smack both these guys in the back of the head. So we knocked the uh, we knocked Santa out with the the baton that we picked off the table, and then we picked up his crowbar that he dropped on the floor, and uh, we knocked out the other security guard just in case he spots us. So. From this point, we're just going to wear the uh, Santa's disguise. You need to watch out for the security guard. I almost forgot about the security guard in here. So just be nice and patient, sneak around him. It doesn't really matter if you get spotted, but obviously we want to stay stealthy as possible. So once you've climbed up that ladder, on uh, just on the table to your left is going to be the cowboy bus. That's going to be item number 9. Item number 10 is going to be uh, another sword. It's going to be to the left of the attic once you go over here. So stay crouch, run as you're coming through this section. Watch out for the bodyguard that's just put, that's going to be having his back to you. To you. you can sometimes patrol to the left, so you just need to watch out for him. Once you've grabbed that saber there, that's the item number 10. So we've got two more items to go. One of them is by where all the screens are, so we just need to go and grab, grab that. So once the guards move to the left, that's when we're going to advance forward. And it's just going to be on the table just right there, next to the uh, the two monitors. It's just going to be a bust. So stay crouched as you're running through this section here as well. There's going to be two bodyguards to your left, so you just need to watch out for those guys. Once the suspicion bar goes, you can move to the next bit of cover, and then vault over the little table. 
And the final item is just going to be uh, just ahead of us just right now. We just need to watch out for this guard in front of us. To wait for him to turn around before we pass by. We can do it now, but we just uh, just to save the risk. There's no point really risking it. But the final item is just going to be this uh, microphone right there. So that's to the 12 items. And Santa Liz little helper will pop up on the top right corner of your screen. It didn't for me because I've already done it. So now we can go ahead and take care of the final two challenges of this and uh, that will be the old deer challenge and the ho 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 challenge. So we just need to sneak back out of the attic just the way we came. Remember to stay crouch run as you're coming through the section. You can run from this point and then head down the ladder. Once you've slid uh, down the ladder, we're just going to come through this door. But you need to watch out for the security guard that we, ca uh, that we came by first. So, again, we're just going to be patient and wait for him to come back and turn around so we can advance forward. So make sure you do use your instincts in the one. And watch out for his head because he does tend to look left and right. Now there's going to be a, a tech guy be walking up and down this, this area up the top of the stairs. So you just need to watch out for him. So we're going to create a distraction actually to move out of the way. Or you can just wait for him to move away. But um, he does tend to take a while. So you're probably better off using a distraction. You've got about 100 items in your inventory to uh, choose from anyway. So pick one, pick whatever one you want to. I'll show the cannonball. We're just going to open this door and throw it on the floor. Just to get him to move away so we can, uh, so we can come through the door. Once you go through the door, there's going to be a window to your left. Do you want to climb out the window? Climb along the ledge and then slide down the pipe. Once you've slid all the way down the bottom of the pipe, we're going to come down the stairs and then open this door at the bottom. Now, this is where I thought the master key would come in handy, but it didn't pop up for me, so I don't understand why. So luckily, I used the, uh, the Santa's crowbar that he dropped. Uh, on the door so if you brought your lockpick along with you you wouldn't have to worry about that you can use your lockpick to open that door so once we're down into this basement we're going to head up the stairs here and now we're in a non-trespassing area so we're free to roam in this bottom floor so once we go into the palace gardens we're going to go around the back and there's going to be like a little lion statue there's going to be two propane tanks next to it as you'll see in the picture of the challenge and we're just going to wait for the two targets to uh, meet have a meeting over here because they get together and realize that they have no more items they didn't actually steal anything so it's gonna they come over here to have a little bit of a meeting and that's when we're going to take them out with the propane tanks and it'll take care of two more challenges and that will be three challenges in one video done so for the benefit of the video i'm going to skip until the part where they get to uh, you know this this where the statue is and uh, yeah so let me just skip this So here's the two targets that finally come over, which does take a while, mind you, you need to <laughs> keep in mind about that. It does take about another five minutes uh, from the point when I skip the video to to get to this point where they are now. Uh, look, look at his glass of wine he has in his hand, it's, that's quite funny. So once they get to this point, they're going to be standing in front of the statue. We're just going to wait for that waiter there to move out of the way, just in case he gets, we get spotted. And then we're going to shoot the propane tank twice, once you're around this corner, staying crouched. It'll kill them both like that for an accident kill. And that will take care of the Oh Dear Challenge and the Ho 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 Challenge. It should pop up in the top right corner of your screen. You just, do, you just need to wait for the accident kill and explosion kills and that to finish popping up on your screen before the challenges do pop up. So there's the oh dear challenge. And there's the ho ho challenge. So that's, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe here if you are new for more challenges. And I'll see you in the next video guys. Cheers.